what if the universe just stopped? If the expansion of the universe stops, what does that mean for the end of stars, supernovas, gravity, or even life itself? And what does that tell us about the ultimate fate of the universe? These aren't just theoretical questions, they are key to some of the deepest mysteries in cosmology. Let's start off with this crazy idea that's going to scare you. Holographic dark energy. Imagine if everything in the universe, the galaxies, stars, planets, was like information stored on a giant cosmic computer. And just like any computer, there's a limit to how much information can be stored. The holographic principle says that all information in the universe is tied to its surface area, not its volume. In simple terms, uh, the bigger the universe gets, the more information it can hold. But, and here's the catch, there's only so much space on the cosmic hard drive. There's only so much surface area. Now, if dark energy is tied to this information limit, that means there's a finite amount of dark energy available in the universe. It's not limitless. So what happens when the universe hits this limit? Could dark energy run out, leaving the universe to stop expanding? And this brings us to the idea of the long freeze, a scenario which just came out today and was co-authored by Ohm, whom you know, where the universe's expansion doesn't go on forever. It slows down. Dark energy becomes weaker and weaker as it spreads out, just like butter stretched too thin over a piece of toast. Eventually, it becomes so diluted that it can't push the universe to expand anymore. The universe enters a sort of frozen state where space stops stretching. But frozen may be a bit of the wrong word. It just stopped expanding. Things inside of it can still happen. But let's get back to, to here's a, cru a crucial question. Does the universe stopping its expansion mean the end of all cosmic activity? Do stars stop forming? Does gravity fade away? And does life cease to exist? The answer might surprise you. No. Even if the large-scale expansion of the universe slows down or stops, local processes, the things happening in galaxies, solar systems, and even on planets, can continue for a very long time. Gravity doesn't rely on the universe expanding to work, so stars will keep forming, supernovas will still explode, and new planets will still be born. Life could continue too, as long as there are stars still providing energy or black holes radiating heat. But why should we even consider a universe where expansion stops? What could make us think that the universe's expansion could slow down? Right now, the most accepted model for the universe's future, called the ACDM model, predicts that the universe, I said that wrong, predicts that the universe will expand forever at an accelerating rate. But there are discrepancies, such as the Hubble tension, where measurements of the universe's expansion don't all agree. This raises questions about whether we fully understand dark energy and the universe's fate. By exploring the idea of the long freeze, we challenge the assumption that the universe will keep accelerating forever. Instead, we open the door to the possibility that dark energy might be finite and could weaken over time. And if dark energy starts to weaken, how would we know? Scientists could look for subtle clues in the data we're already gathering from the universe. For example, by measuring the rate of expansion using distant supernovas, or the cosmic microwave background radiation. We might notice that the universe's expansion is slowing down. It might take billions of years, but if we ever observe this slowing down, it could indicate that the universe is approaching this potential long freeze state. And if this happens, it could transform our understanding of dark energy and the future of what we understand to be the cosmos. So we ask again, what would a static universe mean for the local processes? Would stars keep shining? Would gravity still be there? Etc. In a universe where expansion stops, gravity still works. Galaxies 
won't drift apart endlessly. Instead, they would remain within reach of one another, and cosmic processes would continue. But here's where things get really interesting. If the universe stops expanding, what happens to time? In a universe that's constantly expanding, space and time are like a constantly stretching fabric. But if the expansion stops, does time itself change? Could the way we experience time slow down or even become fixed? What happens to the geometry of space when it no longer stretches? This isn't just an abstract question. It touches on the deepest mysteries of how time and space work. We think of time as a continuous flow, but in a universe that stops expanding, could time itself become less fluid? And here's the big one. If there's a limit to how much information the universe can hold, what does that mean for the very nature of reality? Could we be approaching a moment where the universe runs out of space to hold more information? Could there be a cosmic event where the universe simply can't expand anymore? It's hit its maximum capacity for information. And if so, what happens then? These are the kinds of questions that force us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the universe's future. We aren't just asking, will the universe stop expanding? We're asking, what does that mean for time, space, and everything in between? And if we do observe signs that the universe's expansion is slowing down, it could give us the first hint that this long freeze scenario is not just a theory, but a possible reality. So let's leave you with this. What does it mean if the universe stops expanding? Could time itself become static? Does the universe's limit for information control its ultimate fate? And could the end of expansion reveal something even more profound about the true nature of time and space?